Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to go back to our code that we were reviewing earlier. However, today we are going to talk a little bit about the This Workbook um, dot sheets property. Um, well, uh, one thing I wanted to show you is if if we run this macro, um, so I'll hit Alt F8. And let's run test one. That's the one that we did to autofill this stuff with uh, a few details there. So if we run that, we see that uh, it, it works just fine. However, what if we only wanted to confine that to this worksheet? And if I click on sheet two and I hit Alt F8 and I run it, right now, the way we set it up, it's going to work. It's going to automatically um, work no matter what sheet I have on. So. What we want to do is we want it to only happen on sheet one, no matter where I'm clicked at, no matter what cell I'm clicked on, work, what worksheet is open, and this will blow your mind. Not even uh, won't even matter if the sheet is hidden or not. So let's experiment with that a little bit. Right, right now we'll give sheet one a name. We'll call it my report. Okay, that's our sheet one's name is my report. Uh, we're going to go back to Visual Basic, Alt F11. Okay, so test one is our macro. We'll stick with that name for now. And uh, we're not going to change anything other than we are going to, uh, we're going to hard code the name of the sheet in it. So to do that, I'm going to show you, um, you can use the sheets property by typing um, sheets in open parentheses and we're going to um, let me give some space here for now you do a quote you type in the name of the sheet that you gave it we gave it my report in quote in parentheses we're going to say sheets my report dot cells x1 blah 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 so uh, that's that's a preliminary step that'll only get you so far if you have several workbooks open and you accidentally click on the other one and you run the macro it might write over what you have on the, your second workbook with that macro. So I take an additional precaution. You probably don't have to do this. I I say this workbook dot sheets my report sales blah blah blah, and I'll do that a few more times. I'll probably end up copying and pasting this workbook dot sheets and my report. And later we'll show you how you can actually save yourself a lot of time by um, giving that, uh, declaring a, or setting a variable name to the sheet name, and then you can just uh, use a shortened version of this to represent this work without sheets, my report. So anyway, I will go ahead and copy that for the time being before the word cells. I'll copy it with the period. Yeah. This workbook that sheets blah blah blah. So this time each code that runs is going to run on the sheet my report, no matter where I'm selected at. So let's try that. I'm going to go to sheet two, and I'm going to hit Alt F8, and I'm going to go ahead and run my code. And sure enough, it looks like it wrote it on the correct sheet. Let's check it out, and it did. Okay, just for good measure, we'll go to sheet three, Alt F8 double click here and it ran on my report so that's pretty cool um, what else have we got here uh, yes let's even let's even go ahead and hide it um, I will right click here and click on hide and so now uh, the, the sheet called my report is hidden alt f8 we're gonna run it anyways double click let's unhide right click on one of these go to unhide Let's unhide my report, and sure enough, it ran, regardless of whether it was visible. You can't do that in regular old Excel, click it around. So that's why VBA is so important. It will run in the background, it will run invisibly. Um, just for fun, let's go ahead and do something here. Let's take this workbook dot sheets my report dot visible equals false. Now that's just going to hide this sheet. It's not going to make it super hidden. Uh, super, you know, a very hidden is a state where the worksheet will not uh, 
will not be visible unless you use Visual Basic to show it again. We're just going to make it uh, hidden, but where you can still right click and unhide it. So we've uh, modified our code to hide the sheet every time this code is run. So let's try that. That'll be fun. Alt F8, and we'll run test one. And if it works, at the end of the code, it will hide the sheet for us. Let's run it. Bam! It's hidden. So let's unhide my report. Okay. So that was fun. Let's make another macro to uh, to make it visible again. We'll come down here and we'll call this one. Oops. We'll call this one uh, unhide sheet. So sub unhide. We'll call it unhide my report. Okay. So all you have to do is we'll put a code that says this work work dot sheets dot or whatever my report dot visible equals true. And a lot of times you'll see this. Something's either going to be true or false. That's called boolean. Um, so uh, a lot of these properties, the visible property of the sheet called my report is now going to be true when we run this one. Uh, previously we turned it to be the visible property to be false and that's what makes it go invisible. So pretty cool. Let's try it. Let's click. Let's uh, first of all we're from any sheet here we'll run the code alt f8 we'll go to test one that was our first code and sure enough it hit it now we'll hit alt f8 that's unhide my report let me double click here and sure enough it unhit it it did not select it because we were on sheet two at the time when we ran it if we wanted it to unhide it and then immediately select it we would do this with our code let's go to this code in here will say this workbook dot sheets my report dot select and that's the code to oops that's the code to have Excel select that sheet so rather than uh, unhiding it but jumping back to sheet 2 it will actually select it let me just hide it for good measure alt f8 unhide my report and select it incidentally let's go ahead and run that shazam it unhid it and selected that sheet so uh, that, those are some nifty codes you can use. Okay, that's about it for this video. On the next segment, we're going to talk about uh, declaring variables, which is important, especially whenever you're setting objects like the worksheet. We want to, we'll talk about shortening that, save your fingers a lot of keystrokes. Uh, we'll also talk about, uh, well. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, we'll talk about this properties menu down here. We're going to talk about renaming uh, some of these things. Um, and then eventually we'll get to some worksheet events, um, this workbook events, and we'll get to user forms at some point in time. Thank you so much for viewing. God bless.